does that game show how important again Rodri is to your team, given given the, the you know the very physical game that was out there? We play so, we play really good, and Kovacic and Rico and after Bernardo they were brilliant, really really good. But you, don't, you don't think he missed his his physical presence today against a, a Newcastle team that are really pressurising? I miss Rodri for his qualities, but today the physical presence was buzzing behind. So when they get the ball and attack our back from Josco or Kyle or wherever, that there is a why in the midfield that we were strong. So there's a game. So they start really well the first five minutes, ten minutes. And after we were good at the goal, we had chances, we controlled the game. I know it's difficult for the intensity they press, but we dropped them and they were brilliant, scored a goal. And after in the best moment, we could see the penalty. After they had the best moments for 10 minutes, 12 minutes, they were really good. But at the end, we take it. We had chances with Phil, with Bernardo, with uh, some last passes, and especially. And uh, yeah, we take the point. Um, you, Rico is very inexperienced, although he has played for England, he's played a lot of games for you. Is he kind of, does he take on board what you're asking him to do? Is it uh, hard for him to understand the no. advanced way you want? He's a player, we don't have to talk much about what he has to do because he's so smart and intelligent. Intelligent players, uh, the football is a, a movement game. So how you decide in all the actions, it depends on the intelligence of the player. Sometimes you need to be more structured to say how to do this and that. No more information. But Rico read perfectly what he has to do. Of course, he's young. He will improve at 90 years old, 20. But he plays again exceptional well. He's really good in small spaces. When the game is complete transitions, there are players in them. But we know that uh, how deep was Inter de Milan, Arsenal, or the other one in smaller spaces. He's a really, really good player and play a really, really good again. Luke, uh, it's, it's unusual to see you out talk to a manager for so long after the final whistle. What was that conversation about? I have, really? Listen, I have a lot of, but, but you know, for many years I'm here, he's many years as well, so Bournemouth and the other one. So. I said to him how I admire him for the way he approached the game. And, and first, in, you know, in a, in a high pressing, the team is so direct. So they have a lot of legs with Murphy. He's actually no as well, Gordon Barnes. So we control them really, really well in, in, in most of part of the game, especially when we play so, so high. You know, Bruno and Joe Ellington and the physicality to Nali and after the, the central defender so high. It's a so difficult team, so we know in Newcastle last season struggling a bit for just one reason, for the a lot of injuries that they had. Otherwise, the team will compete really well. Uh, and you know, when you are a manager, and for many years, you a lot of times, and and it's you know never created problems. The press conference always polite for the opponents, like we try to do as a club. So why should not be? So I admit that we would like to win, we draw, they deserve as well, so, and uh, yeah, we take the point both. Can I just, just ask, sorry, just one more, sorry, the, what's your view of the penalty, the Anthony Gordon penalty? I didn't see it. Didn't see it. I didn't see it, sorry, I didn't see it, so, but apparently Drivel, if he, I don't know if he touched Anthony Gordon or Anthony Gordon touched, I don't know, but it's penalty, it's penalty, so, <coughs> it's, it's what it is, so, well, well given and that's all. How is Erling Haaland? It looked like he took a, a knock on his ankle in the first yeah, half. Okay. Yeah, have some knocks here. Yeah, but we'll see you next days. So, yeah. Still a big moment at the end of the game, wasn't there? The big Pope save from yeah. Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I'm from Phil. It was, uh, the game with the Inter, it was the same. It feel, you know, in that position is maybe one of the best. It's so clever and today, I just know, I've been two months and a half, three months. The best player of the league last season has been out. And now today, I think, he played the best minutes, I would say. He was really good, so impact, so really good in the assist and dynamic. And I'm happy that step by step is coming back. Michael. You mentioned the physicality in the last two games. Do you think this is already an example of where Rodri not being in there does have an impact? Because you mentioned yesterday with the high balls and winning the headers. Is it an example today already? Yeah, I'm free kicks. The long balls there and happen, but I want to tell you something. With Rodri in the past, when that actions always suffer, because Dan is Burn is so strong and 
and Shar and uh, Joel Linton and uh, the other ones. So, guys, I'm going to tell you, I know you're going to ask me all the time. So, of course, you're going to meet Rosie. Physicality is present, I know it, but it's not there. So, I'm judging what we, Kovacic, Enrico, and Bernardo after, and the wingers with Jack and Jan, how we have played. It was exceptional. So, it's simple. I know that. If we were well, uh, because it's not Rosie. I had to find a solution. We had to find a solution. I would love Roddy to be here and Oscar Bob here and Kevin be here and not Kevin here. I would love it, but you know, it's what it is because it's 10 years playing 60, 70 games in the communication and national teams and, and sometimes it happened. We had to adapt. So, and then we adapt really well against the strong side. And I see my team, I recognize perfectly my team. So, and that's all. So we had the chances to score so clear we should a score and of course because he and this stadium they can score so we know it but a part of that I'm satisfied. Sorry, just one. Without Kevin were you tempted to start Phil today in midfield? Sorry? Without Kevin were you tempted to start Phil in midfield? Yeah. But you decided not to obviously. Yeah, because a long time is injured, last game play was mm -mm. and I prefer sometimes the players have an hour they impact at 90 minutes. Like I know how the strong they are. Gund is so intelligent in defensive concepts and many things. And that's why. So, but in three days, we have another one. In three days, four days, we have another one. So, there are games for everyone.